Alright, it's time to continue with Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Yeah, this is a new recording, obviously. So, I figured out what was going on with this freaking nav beacon. What it's pointing me towards... This staircase I have to get through the uh, police station to get to. It's actually not that hard. I just gave it a trial run to make sure it was all good. So we have to sneak back through here. Ah, damn it. Alright. I hate that laser grid. It's one of the worst laser grids in the game. We just have to sneak through here. And here we go. <laughs> Mr. Jensen, this is Otabot Kevelli. I hear you are in the Utulek complex. Keeping tabs on me, Bot Kevelli. It is time for that favor you owe me. There is a shopkeeper <clears throat> named Galwa in the Sedri Markets. I want you to eliminate him. I'm not in the assassination game. How you take care of this problem is your business, but I expect you to keep your word. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, we gotta get rid of him. But there is a non-killing way to get rid of him. I made the mistake of going. Alright, let's go talk to Louise Galloy. We're going to save real quick. This is a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting any customers today, given the unpleasantness outside. Are you Louis Galois? I am. If this is a referral, may I ask which of my customers was impressed enough to recommend me? Tibor Sokol. Ah, poor Tibor. But how may I be of service? Uh, so we'll get into Ark. to Tibor. He said you can help <coughs> me to territory, undetected. What did he say precisely? That you bring supplies into Gollum for Talos Rucker, under the radar. Tibor should be more careful what he says, and to whom. He also said you would probably ask a favor in return. Yes, as it happens, I do have a need for someone like you. The police have confiscated some neuropocene of mine. They're keeping it in a storage locker at the entrance to the market. That shouldn't be too hard to get. So, for you to give me access, all I have to do is get your stuff back from cops who are aggressively anti hawk These are desperate times, unfortunately. And you do seem to be a very capable man. If that's what it takes, fine. Excellent. I will await your return. But before you go, might I interest you in making a purchase? <laughs> of course. Let's see what you've got for sale. I am at your service. Oh, let's see what he's got. I've never been I've never been one to really buy shit in this game or human revolution unless I absolutely have to. Oh, why not? We could always buy some tranquilizer rifle ammo. Oh, hey, look. Look who's got neuropazine. Uh, yeah, I've got four of these things. Certain? I'll be on my way for now. As you wish. 
But I hope to see you again. Oh, don't worry, you'll be seeing me again. <laughs> I briefly forgot which button X was. <laughs> I've been playing way too many different uh, consoles lately. <laughs> it's like X, uh, wait, which controller am I using? This guy might be a bit of a pain, but I think, yeah, he's going to give me away. I'm going to try something real quick. Oh, damn it, the freaking chicks and give me away. What? Let's try this. So we gotta be careful here because I think some of this stuff is see through. Not here, but in the other area. I think. Oh, maybe not. to hack into this one. Make this a quick one if we can. Access granted. Woo. Don't be a problem. <laughs> he just flipped his lid. It's all good, dude. Oh, come on! Get out of here before I start shooting! Oh my god! <sighs> I have to wait for him. What you playing? That was a little excessive. Alright. Now we have Louise stuff. Thank you. 
know what's going on. What's on the line? All right. So we're gonna drop a save because I think we have to convince him to leave because uh, Otar is gonna do well. Welcome kill him. back. Have you brought with you the article we discussed? Here you go. Excellent. In return, I will unlock the security door at the back of this room. Beyond that, you'll find a ladder which will take you where you want to go. Thank you for your assistance. Pleasure was all mine. Alright. We gotta talk to him again. Welcome back. How may I help you this time? Let's talk about the Diwali crime family. Who are they? They're the people running organized crime in Prague. Their second in command is a man named Otar Botkavelli. Heard of him? No. I'm sorry, I haven't. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping you could tell me why he wants me to kill you. Shit! He wants me dead? <laughs> Drunk son of a bitch. Sounds like you're starting to remember him now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Otar. He just slipped my mind for a moment. That's not the only thing slipping. <laughs> Fine, smart guy. I work for Otar's boss, the head of the Diwali family, Radic Nikolazzi. I spy on Otar's activities for Radic. Shit, I just realized the other Pachyan, Constantine, he died in the train station bombing. You're thinking Otar wants to get the second spy, you, out of the way and make a move against Radic. I'm sure he'd love that. Yeah. Those two have had their own private Cold War going on for years. But still. Getting rid of me and Constantine wouldn't be enough. Otar needs to gather more support in Prague and in Georgia. But he could do it. The only thing keeping him from consolidating his power is... Well, me? But you're not really planning to kill me, are you? Well, here I am. No, I draw the line of assassination for would-be mob bosses. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. What can I do to repay you? Name it. Anything. Vaclav Kohler. What's his connection to Radic? Wait, I can't tell you that. Radic would kill me. <laughs> you said anything. Unless you'd prefer the alternative. Damn it. Okay. Radic, Kohler, and I have a trilateral arrangement. Radic has an augmented leg. You just became the fifth living person to know that. So. I get Radic his neuropathy, and Kohler maintains his leg. In return, Radic looks out for us. He's not doing a great job of that. You're lucky Otar sent me instead of somebody else. He won't stop with you either. I'd better get out of the country until this blows over. And I'll guess I'll have to retire the Louis Galois persona. <laughs> well, well, I had fun playing you. Next time, try it with a French accent. Might be more credible. <laughs> well, before we say our goodbyes, can I perhaps interest you in any of Louis Galois' remaining wares? Always the merchant, this guy. Alrighty. I'll be on my way for now. Well, didn't really need. I <laughs> only thing about was Trank Rifle well, Ammo. So. See you again. Bacavelli, it's Jensen. Your problem in the Udalite complex has been taken care of. Good. I look forward to hearing the details, but that will have to wait because I have other urgent matters keeping me busy at the moment. I will call you back shortly. Jensen, getting lonely up here. Got an update for me. Yeah, I discovered that favors are like currency in Gollum City. We're back on track. I'm heading for an area called the Throat now. Should take me straight into Ark territory. Good. I'll update Miller and do a fl- All right. Into Ark territory we go. Patrolling the market, just like you said it would be. I got it, brothers. Now, let's see what we've got here. These little guys can be tricky. Every once in a while, one of them will go off, even if you. <laughs> <laughs> Should have tried cutting the blue wire. If only life was that simple. And here's the big bad of this game. It looks like you might have taken the wrong turn. 
You must be the welcoming committee. No. I am Marchenko. And Marchenko, he is more of a guardian. Like the hound at the gates of hell. Yes. I'm not real big on the classics. <laughs> that is a pity. What a man reads can tell you more about him than his face. Can I give you a little friendly advice? Sure. Go back. Go home. There is nothing for someone like you here. How do you Victor Marchenko you know is the big bad of mankind divided. Up ahead. We call it the throat. And sometimes those get cut, yes? When outsiders come wandering in where they should not. I'll take my chances. I just want to see where Ark hides out. We are not hiding from anyone. Tell that to the cops down below. Do not listen to police and all their <laughs> bullshit about Ark. Those Lupotia pricks are everywhere. Breaking heads, making their mess, and we have to deal with it. Better watch yourself. They won't go easy on you either. Leash or no leash. I like the predator eye. It's not right what the police are doing. Someone has to stand up to them. Is that you? Because it takes a lot to step out of line and answer back. And once you do, there is no return. Not everyone has the courage to take up the fight. You make it sound like you're in a war. It is a war. Basically, this is like... On every it's like a... It's kind of a debate, but it's not really. You gain achievement if you win it, uh, but you don't have help from the Cassie or anything. will have to choose a side. Anyone who does not will just be in the way. And that could get them killed. I thought Ark was about preserving human rights, not advocating armed revolt. Here and now, brother, it is the same thing. What you're talking about, that's terrorism. Easy. I thought we were just two men having a conversation, discussing the issues of the day. Like your friend Rucker? I see him on the net. He feel the same way you do? Ah, yes. Talos. He is a good man. Strong, intelligent, principled. You could learn a lot from him. So we could. Hmm. Hmm. I think before I chose agree. Let's see. Let's try this. It sounds like you already have. You're a regular true believer. Leave a day in this sheet hole, and you will be one too. You face what we face. The oppression, degradation, and you will know. Talos Rak sees through all of it. He has answers. Are you sure about that? Or is it just what you want to be true? Well, as much as a political <laughs> stimulates me. You are pushing my patience, and I have work to do. You have had your warning. Get out of here, while you still can. If that was your recruitment speech, I gotta tell you, it sucked. The way I see it, after the bombing, tide's turning against you. Ark has made itself public enemy number one. <laughs> yes, it may seem that way. For now. Until then, Sergey, be careful in there, Shire. Huh? Nasty rumors of a wrench getting scratches on his finish will scare the tourists away. Ah, yes. You'll be seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> 